Hello everyone, and welcome once again to The Heir's Lair. I am your host, not sure if Kant has published yet, author, Jonathan Taylor. I've been going through the uh, notes I've had on my other videos, notes and scripts, to see what I've uh, already revealed about uh, my debut novel for uh, marketing purposes, and I've noticed I didn't really say anything about the uh, villains of the piece. With uh, this video, I am looking to uh, mend that. And so, for this week, I am doing a character spotlight on a collective character for the first time, namely uh, Green Dawn, or The Green Dawn. Both, uh, you know, both iterations of the name get used both in story and in the world. <laughs> this is arguably not actually the first uh, character spotlight of a collective character, given I already made the uh, backstory video for the novel, but whatever, that's not a discussion I want to go into right now. I want to go into uh, you know, specifics about the about a villainous organization that uh, influences the actions of my uh, debut novel. The Green Dawn was formed uh, shortly after the end of the Republic War in Gothstan, one of the uh, five republics and that, um, that emerged after the dissolution of the Empire, and, most importantly, also one of, uh, one of the uh, provinces of the former Empire. More precisely, it is the one from which the Korondani, the last imperial dynasty, uh, also stemmed. Its members, uh, or its founders, its initial founders were all uh, leaders and high-ranking members of the uh, Gothic theocratic faction, which towards the end of the war became um, very well known for its ferocity and dedication in battle. They were either among the last or the actual last of the factions that uh, uh, that, that surrendered and thereby, and thereby marking an end to the uh, Republic War. They uh, first uh, they first became uh, first came to prominence, so to speak, during the uh, during the first uh, post-war presidential uh, election campaign in Gothstan, when one of the candidates was uh, assassinated. The assassin was never caught, but was suspected of uh, having uh, ties to uh, Green Dawn, given that the early messaging of this uh, uh, of this group focused around uh, that particular candidate being an agent of foreign interests who would. Uh, who would uh, rob people of their lands and wealth and slowly take uh, control of their lives away from them. The group itself never faced any consequences for uh, this particular act and that and after that over time they uh, they uh, did nothing but grow in uh, controversy, membership and boldness. They are most well known outside of uh, Gothstan for conducting terror attacks, often suicidal ones, but they are most well known uh, within Gothstan, or but they um, not really well known. But they market themselves as uh, gar as guardians of the people and keepers of uh, tradition and safety. The opinion of the uh, general Gothan citizen to uh, uh, towards this organization is uh, positive, rarely, or or neutral, as it is for most people. They care more about just uh, going through their lives than about following up on some uh, uh, on some nameless organization. And truth be told, they are actually a bit more uh, complex than uh, first meets the eye. It's what, men, it's what allowed them to survive for this long. Um, from a functional standpoint, they, uh, you could divide the Green Dawn into uh, three divisions, and I'll go through uh, each of them. The first one, the speakers, functions uh, functions uh, is, di is divided, so to speak, within a clerical hierarchy. They operate within the uh, established clergy of uh, Gothstan and have areas of responsibility, as in territory, where they are uh, over which they are accountable for uh, for their actions within the Green Dawn. That overlaps uh, pretty closely to. Uh, <laughs> Relates pretty closely to the territories over which established clergy also uh, also takes on responsibility. Their main um, and their main goal is to uh, establish and maintain a network of information that they can then use to highlight or hide certain items that can be that are useful for the group's uh, uh, goals and messaging. They are in essence the main branch of uh, disseminating propaganda. The uh, second division of the group. The thinkers uh, 
create the uh, create the strategies and plan out the uh, actions and messages that the uh, uh, group will uh, that the group is supposed to follow. They have a they have a central command, but are otherwise divided into various uh, chapters that have uh, that have again certain uh, geographical areas of responsibility over which they um, and within which they have to uh, spread the uh, influence and um, and prestige of the uh, uh, organization. <clears throat> while they, while these chapters uh, do follow certain guidelines and at times direct orders from this, uh, fr no, from their uh, uh, central, from their uh, central command, they operate uh, mostly autonomously towards uh, achieving their goal. And many of them actually uh, either are di are directly connected to elected officials or have made one of their own. Uh, become an elected official. So they are very much the <laughs> backbone of this organization and the unofficial powerhouse of the of the group. And the third and final division uh, that makes up this uh, you know, this association, the Rangers, are the uh, boots on the ground foot soldiers of the organization. Their role is to act as uh, muscle for and enforcers of all the uh, uh, plans and strategies that are developed through the cooperation of the uh, other two divisions. In order to do so, they resort to actions that include, but are not limited to, uh, disseminating propaganda leaflets, uh, organizing manifestations, or enacting violence. While this group is technically inferior to the uh, uh, to the other ones in rank, the uh, the the leader or the leader of this group. Is in is uh, the chairman of the uh, organization as a whole. Speaking of the organization as a whole, Green Dawn is in general uh, male dominated. They very much believe in uh, traditional gender roles and seek to uh, and seek to enforce them as part of their uh, you know, as part of their agenda. Their agenda is based on the uh, most uh, radical reforms that uh, the uh, uh, Korondani dynasty was trying to implement in its uh, waning days. A dynasty, uh, a plan which sought to implement a clean and sustainable uh, population model, which meant, which in practice meant uh, excluding women, uh, pushing women further and further uh, out of public life, and eliminating uh, gender, sexual, and ethnic minorities out of society altogether. So yeah, that's that's the kind of people we're talking about. That being said, uh, women are permitted uh, both membership within the organization and they can uh, take on responsibilities within certain uh, activity, groups, uh, activity groups that the, uh, um, that the uh, organization uh, makes possible. They can even claim uh, leadership within these activity groups. However, taking on uh, further responsibilities uh, outside, outside of these activity groups or uh, or uh, speaking in uh, general Green Dawn meetings, either when not spoken to or out of turn, is uh, generally not permitted and is at best frowned upon. At worst, I really can't to, can't describe on YouTube on YouTube what would uh, happen to them. How successful this uh, group is is in their endeavors, I will uh, leave up to you to find out. In the meantime, I would like to uh, thank you very much for. Uh, <laughs> for your attention, regardless of how much of it you actually decided to uh, grant me today. If you enjoyed this video, then uh, please leave a like. If you have uh, any thoughts you would like to uh, uh, contribute to this discussion, then go ahead and comment. If you think uh, other people will also want, will uh, find this uh, video enjoyable, then uh, go ahead and share it to them. And if you want to see when my next video comes out, then uh, please subscribe. Ideally, also ring the bell or do whatever else YouTube will ask of you in order to keep you notified. And um, yeah, that, that was it for that was it for me. Until next time, I am Jonathan Taylor, and this has been the Air's Layer.